Hi there folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Ace Academy. It's Ace Space in which we awesome, where I'm uh, about to enter the Dashu VIP Arcade Lounge. Don't know why there's an arcade lounge, and not just, you know, a lounge, but whatever. I'm not here to complain, I'm here to drink an Orange Crush, uh, not sponsored, and play a uh, dating sim. Oh, oh, it feels so good. It tastes so good in my mouth. I haven't had much to drink in the last couple hours, so I'm a little dehydrated. After proving my identity to the guard, I enter. Oh, dang! <coughs> this place fucking rules! I don't even know what this shit is, but it's glowy and, and, and cool and stuff. They got some rules. Rule 1.1. Rules of the, the state are of California. The State Bar of California is established for... Did they just fucking rip some rule from laws from California? The fuck? <laughs> Come on, Ace Academy. You knew better than that. At least make some shit up. As soon as I walk in, I spot many recognizable faces. Weiger Toods. Sydney Crossbow. Sydney... Who is that? Uh, Chenille O'Keel. Uh, Ristiano Cor Cronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo? I don't, I don't, just to name a few. I don't know if some of these people, I don't know who some of these people are supposed to be. I keep waiting for someone to spot, stop me and ask me what I'm doing here, but no one does. A few people glance at me in passing, some even flash me a smile as if to say, You're one of us now. Walking into the same room as these people is intimidating, but also exhilarating. Scan to the room, I don't see XZ anywhere. Broseph! Hey! I turn to see my three friends, who are dressed quite nicely, to be perfectly honest with you. They look far more American than they normally do. Except for the hair color. He looks like a fucking... Like he just walked off the goddamn golf course. I turn this around to see Show, Mayu, and Kauri approaching me. Hi, hey guys! Can you believe this? My inner fanboy is going off the charts! Yeah, everyone loves reading the rules of California. Cowrie shrugs. I don't see what the big fuss is. Okay, to be fair, like, I get it. You're not into the, the, the popular people celebrity chasing stuff. But you're in a VIP section of an important company. That's important. That's a big fuss. Me neither. Come on, guys. Mayu chokes on her words and her eyes widen at the sight of somebody. <gasps> dot, dot, dot! With exclamation points. I follow her line of sight, expecting XZ, but instead I see some old dude with white hair. <laughs> um, may, may you? I know you like your private time, but we're in public right now. <laughs> Breathe, May. She takes a deep breath. It's reboot von Beethoven! Did somebody reboot Beethoven? Who's that? Apparently somebody cloned the guy. Uh, if looks could kill, Sho would have already been on the ground bleeding. I mean, I, I understand, like, I've heard the first half of that, but never the second half, and that's really amusing. Huh? Ah! Sho cowers. Man, people in Japan, or, well, people in Japanese games, really gotta fucking chill. Close her eyes and sets her jaw determinedly. Then, with shaking legs, she walks towards me. Like, fucking, come on, Sho, it's just a look. Well, chill. Then... Hey, who brings some surprise? Um, I doubt any of us imagine Mayu is capable of something so terrifying. Oh, excuse me. Mayu stalks closer to reboot von Beethoven. Beethoven. Uh, but as soon as his attention lands on her, she becomes rooted to the ground. Uh oh. He waits patiently for her, watching her curiously. She remains frozen. So he smiles and pats her on the head, then resumes his journey to the buffet tables. After Mayu's internal systems reboot Von De Beethoven, she hops back to us with starstruck eyes. He touched my head! He touched me! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> ah, the lives of cartoon characters. Happy for you. Wouldn't phrase it like that. Whoa! Okay, never... Didn't know... I never consider, considered actually taking that that direction, but sure. <laughs> that is really amusing, though. Wouldn't phrase it like that. 
You might want to think about what you just said and then try again. Show and carry non-agreement while I might use cheek splash. Th that's not what I meant! It's just... <laughs> it's Riku von Beethoven, the greatest classical composer to exist since the original! So it's actually an, a reboot of von, De von Beethoven. That's fucking hilarious. Seriously? That's his tagline? Hello, beautiful people. Hello! Oh yeah, okay. That's 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 a that's cute. Valerie is also <laughs> is all smiles. I'm reminded of fucking Half Life full of consequences. He was on the ground, but was all smiles as she approaches. Uh, she throws an arm around me and Kauri, much to Kauri's dismay. What's with all the excitement? Uh, we're in the VIP lounge of Dashu. Fucking idiot. Uh, Mayu just met Beethoven. <gasps> you mean the Ludwig von Beethoven? <laughs> Can't tell if she's being sarcastic or not. No, the 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 one from the 1990s uh, cartoon character show. May you not happen. Ooh, he's the greatest classical composer to exist since the original. Seriously, I was taking a drink. <laughs> May you burst out laughing. Valerie joins. Their laugh is contagious, and soon we're all joined in, laughing hysterically, and we're getting stared at, and it's weird, and we want to stop, but we can't. When we finally catch our breath, breaths, breathes, breaths, Carrie looks around. Where is Yuna? Not sure. She might be busy handling logistics and stuff. Yeah, she's working on the uh, the factories out back. <laughs> she just got the the belt mark three. That makes sense, actually. A man in a dashu hat interrupts us. Hey, are you guys from Ace Academy? Aren't you the instructor? Yes. For one of my classes. He checks off a name on his clipboard. Which of our names? You're up for the photo shoot. Please, come with me. We look at each other and then shrug and follow him. Bruh, this is awesome. If I were ever in a situation like this, I'd be fucking living in it. My god. He leads us to a secluded area behind a wall of curtains that looks the exact same as where we just were. There's a station already set up on a stage with a backdrop and lighting equipment. A man with a tied-back ponytail... Barks directions at the models. I didn't know he was a dog, but okay. His camera at the ready. Bark. Bark, bark, bark. I'm a, I'm a cat person. I can't actually bark. Yuna stands to the side and studies the clipboard in her hand. As our manager, I guess part of her job is coordinating any events we attend. I hope she doesn't have to work all the way to a time. The whole time. Hey, Yuna. She glances over at us and grins. You're here. Sorry I haven't had a chance to say hi. And that's no worries. Are you helping with the whole event? No, I've just been getting our team affairs in order. You guys are doing okay? Actually, I hate this place. We all nod. Great! Well, they want a team photo of all of us. I've already worked it out with our photographer. We're going to be here. Wait, we have a photographer? What's his and or her name? Can I date them? Are they a path? I'm suddenly interested. <laughs> Uh, she leads us to the stage where the photographer is waiting. He uh, directs us to into a normal group st uh, stance with bright smiles. The stutter, uh, the shutter clicks constantly as he captures us from different angles. As we walk in, and as we once we begin posing, then he's done. Perfect. Excellent. Very nice. Seems a weird thing. Once he gets the takes he needs, Sho uh, wants to take a cool photo. With the photographer's permission, he, we hold action poses, trying to look as badass as possible. But it's really weird without context. It's difficult. This is pretty fun. Now we need a solo model from the team. Ooh. While I work on setup, Yuna, please coordinate who will be your swimsuit model. Oh, fucking me, obviously. A swimsuit? Me. Photographer sighs impatiently. Yes, it'll be used for our upcoming catalog, The Taste of Summer. What's more summery than a warm beach? Um, fucking laser tag? <laughs> he walks off before Yuna can protest. Um, did you guys hear that? We nod. Who should do it? Me, obviously. Kari should do, can do it. Yuna should. Um, pick Mayu, Valerie, of course, show. We will not be objective. Why can't I pick myself? I want to be a swimsuit model. Fuck this game. God damn it. Um, well, let's see here. 
Um, now, realistically, we would want, like, the leader of our team for something along those lines. Though, maybe not, I don't even know, I don't know how that works. Um, so, in that line of thinking, I'd say Kauri would do it. Um, but, seeing as it is only the, uh, why would you, she's not even in the team, she's the man. Um, but, seeing as this is a dating sim game, I'd say Valerie should do it. The choice is obvious. Pick me. How about Valerie? Wait, where'd she go? Everyone notices the lack of blonde hair, other than mine. Uh, blonde hair spunkiness behind us, uh, beside us. I look around and spot her already on the stage, pulling off her clothes. Whoa! Hopefully there's a swimsuit in there. Valerie oh, cocks her head to the side, sporting an alluring bikini. Why? Why were you wearing that underneath your clothes? She doesn't actually own any underwear. It's just her swimsuit. It's a photo shoot. Aren't you all wearing yours? I wanted to, but they wouldn't. I wasn't a choice. Carrie clenches her fist. Of course not. What sort of dumb logic is that? <laughs> the dumb logic that actually applies to real life. So, yokes on you. Valerie grins impishly. Oh, even better. Huh? You're wearing something nice and private underneath. Oh aren't you, God! <laughs> what? Is it black? Maybe lacy. Ah! Harry's face turns red. It matches both her hair and her eyes. She has a weird color coordination with her body. Body. I was gonna say bodily, and then I didn't really have a word, so I changed it partway through. Stop being a pervert. <laughs> no, <laughs> she's a pervert. Valerie laughs, show nudges me. <laughs> That's the first time she called someone other than us a pervert. Right? Valerie doesn't discriminate. She's just a little sexist up front. Once she gets to know you, then she'll discriminate regardless of gender. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. She grabs the Dashu energy drink beside her and with one hand and forms a peace sign with the other, then winks suggestively at the camp. That is perfect. You're a natural. Also, like, come on, who else would be that unembarrassed about being in a bikini, or, well, not, being in a swimsuit for a summer issue thing? <laughs> for real, though, if it were able to pick me, I would 100% do it. We watch Valerie expertly transition between poses as the photographer snaps image after image. She's completely in her element, mostly unclothed, having fun. The girls are a little too focused on her. I can't tell if it's from admiration, jealousy, or a little bit of both. Why would it be both? Clearly, Kauri does not want to be there. <laughs> can't speak for the other two, but I, I feel they're in the same boat as Kauri. Now, Valerie shakes the drink and pops open the bottle. Oh, I thought it was like a can. Who puts energy drinks in the bottle? The carbonated liquid explodes all over her face. She catches the liquid in her mouth, then wraps her lips around the bottle. Okay... Preparing to edit. I, I can't look away. Th that's enough! <laughs> Yuna pulls Valerie off the stage and pushes her towards the changing room. H hey! <laughs> you ruined my shoot! Not really, you got some good images, you just didn't continue. You've got plenty to use already. Yuna is uncharacteristically firm, and the photographer is taken aback by her directness. Almost as if she's a manager. Uh. Yeah, okay. Don't know what the fuck that was. Great. Alright. She shoves Valerie into the changing room. Ah. My feet, uh, my, my, my feet feel like they're about to burst out of my chest. <laughs> Show's face is frozen in awe. Oh. Was that how you spell that? Oh, 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 oh. Carrie's uncharacteristically quiet, and her face is as red as a tomato. I mean, not the entire thing. She didn't get sunburned, even though she should have. Maybe as pensive as if she's trying to analyze what she just witnessed. Yuna's cheeks are just as red as Carrie's. Um, that was... It was an experience. It was fun. We nod. There are no words to describe what we just saw. Um, something that was becoming sexual, be interrupted, uh, and then taken away. Those are words. That was a lot of fun. Right? 
Did you get cleaned up? There was energy drink on your face. Returns in her previous outfit and a towel wrapped around her neck. She's completely unfazed by what just happened. Yeah. <laughs> A laugh escapes me as I consider how ridiculous the situation is. Soon the entire team is laughing with me. Thank you very much. We have everything we need. Okay, don't sound so weird. You're yeah. welcome. She's of age, but come on. Come on, be a little less weird. We exit out of the photo area and back into the main lounge. Which looks exactly the same as I mentioned. What do you guys want to do now? Ooh, that's a good question. She lets out a loud squeal. Look! She points to none other than XZ, who is steadily walking towards us. Oh, he's... The music comes with him! <laughs> he's a lot taller in person. Oh my god, he's like eight feet tall. Um, and a lot cooler. I have to admit, Nikki was right. He is more attractive in person. Um, yeah, I agree. He's, he's pretty fucking hot. XZ! That would be me. Damn, voice. He grins charmingly. I don't believe we've met. Are you new? I doubt I would have forgotten such stunning visions such as yourselves. I mean, <laughs> he's got a good voice, a deep voice, but also he's like half an inch from the microphone. Back up, my dude. Be a little louder. Each girl turns a bright shade of red, including Kaurus. They shoot uh, him nervous glances of elation and awe. Even Valerie has lost her cool. All of them are speechless. Why isn't Sho also basking in his hotness? Um, with all of them speechless, XZ looks at Sho, who's equally smitten. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Z grins understandingly. Of course, he must be used to this. And pansexual. He will fuck everything. Um, finally, his gaze lands on me. Oh, uh, hi, we're from Ace Academy, that's who is sponsoring our team. Ace Academy? That means you guys are pilots. Well, four of us are. His face lights up and he seems genuinely impressed. Whoa! <laughs> I motioned myself, show Mary and Kauru. We are. I point at Yuna. She is the team manager. And I point at Valerie. And she's our engineer. I see winks and gives us a thumbs up. <laughs> That's hardcore, man. We're awesome. Yeah, there's a thing to be said about, like, celebrities meeting people who are really fucking good at a thing. Um, from what I've seen in videos, people who do that, they're, like, really good at entertaining and really good at, uh, you know, being popular and, and doing good things for people. For example, I saw a video with, I believe it was Markiplier, and he was, like, interviewing... Or, no, no, it was Jack. It was Jack Septic Guy. He's interviewing uh, these actors who are really good at like what they did and he was just like oh man you're you guys are awesome and it was it was surreal to watch and also really cool um so yeah people who are really good at different things interacting with each other are i, I like the dynamic that usually gives i always wanted to be a pilot what a cool job uh, um excuse me <laughs> xz senpai <laughs> xz laughs just x is fine i mean sure especially since i'm canadian and that should be xz but whatever oh okay uh, excuse me, X Senpai. X Z X D. We can get a photo, please. <laughs> yeah, me too. X Z nods. Sure. Why don't we get a group photo? Yeah, he probably wants to get a photo with us because we're awesome pilots who kick ass. Good idea. Help me in. Kauri nods with a smile. X motions. <laughs> X motions to a nearby Dashu employee as we get into place. Uh, each of us serendipitously trying to stand right beside XZ. The photographer comes out behind the curtains, his camera at the ready. Don't star- don't starstruck me here, come on. Be- be a little cool. Everyone say Z! Okay, y'all say Z in unison with a good laugh, and the photo's taken. Excellent! I'll make sure to have these emailed to you all. Thank awesome. you! And thank you, Mr. Z. <laughs> X smiles. You guys are too formal. Kick back and have some fun. We're gonna be rocking out soon enough. Right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Man suit comes over and whispers in XZ's ear. It's time for warm-ups and stage prep. You're coming to the show, right? Uh, fucking obviously. Of course! I wouldn't miss it for the world. 
good. I'll be looking for But, that'll have to be it for this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> I was actually watching the time of the episode. I was waiting for the exact 20 minute mark. Um, but that'll have to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, I'm Kiwi. Even great to you and yourself a delightful day. Goodbye.